Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses RC to get kids excited about math and science. We, uh, we've got something special here today. This is a vintage RC vehicle from Tamiya. Uh, you know, Tamiya is world famous for making very high quality models as well as RCs. And this is the Solar Eagle. Now you guys have probably never seen one of these before. It's actually solar powered. So there's the panel on the top there. Um, I, I'm going to hand it off to my my buddy Marcus who actually owns this vehicle and he's going to give us a little walk through here. Great. Thanks. Thanks so much, uh, Dean, for this opportunity to talk to you, right? Yeah, as Dean um, mentioned here, this is the Solar Eagle SRC6000, right? And you can see, obviously from the name, it's a solar power car, right? But um, let's kind of like dive in a little bit of a story behind this, right? Um, things that I found about, about this model, it's um, it was built actually in 1992. And Tamiya had an educational line back then, right? And and um, this is just um, just an assumption of what I think, what the story behind behind this uh, particular model right here. Um, if you know, I'm kind of dating myself here. If you remember in the '90s, some of the very big things uh, were actually solar uh, vehicle solar racing. Okay? I, I remember this vividly because I was oh, yeah. in high school then. Oh right? yeah, yeah. I was in high school then, right? Mm -hmm. And I remember that uh, the freshman year of my um in, in high school i was taking some technology class and then the, this the instructor he really was into the solar car thing right? mm -hmm. and we he showed us a documentary on the world solar challenge mm -hmm. that was a race all the way from darwin in in, uh, in australia in northern australia all the way to southern australia about a thousand miles remember that yeah right? the sun racer the sun racer yeah. right gm was the very first owner for that uh -huh. right? oh the, wow their very first winner for that and he even made like uh, his own custom screensaver on a Macintosh <laughs> Classic too, right? And a soul, and for just for to show the school's aspiration mm -hmm. for the solar power vehicle. Very um, cool. Yeah. Other interesting thing about this particular model, um, I got it off from eBay about ten years ago. Mm -hmm. and it part, it's bought for three hundred sixty dollars. Wow. Now, it's pro I'm not sure what it was originally <laughs> what cost, right? But I heard. From some of my reading, it was 500 euros back then, so it could be as high as 750,000. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. And my some my my guess here is because the solar the solar panels yeah. were expensive. The panels get. were expensive. Right. Right. Extremely expensive. Look at these. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. And, and yeah. Other than that, you know, I I got this because you know I I like things that are unique, quirky, mm -hmm. and nerdy. <laughs> so they 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 fit my criteria. Right? <laughs> yeah. So a couple of things. You know, yeah, we you can want talk to walk about us through this. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna walk through it a little bit, right? This is a solar power car, right? mm -hmm. but really, there's two really interesting things I want to talk about here. That's mm -hmm. something very educational, right? Uh, the first one is aerodynamics, and the second one is actually the, the, the power supply itself. Mm -hmm. All right, so if you look at the aerodynamics here, just kind of mm -hmm. pointed out, it kind of looks like an airplane nose cone, like a bullet yeah. train kind of thing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's by design. If you're using, if you want to have a vehicle that's high efficiency, part of it's the aerodynamics, mm -hmm. right? The power, the power mm -hmm. supply there. Now, um, just to drive the whole point about the important aerodynamics, mm -hmm. um, you know, part of the reason that Prius was um, very fuel efficient is mm -hmm. because of the aerodynamics. Yeah, the low uh, CD, right? Correct, correct, the low CD. Coefficient of drag. coefficient. Mm -hmm. The other one is Tesla. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you guys hear about the Tesla, mm -hmm. um, the Tesla wanted to, you know, the door handle is flush and they also have their um, their side view mirror. They actually want to get rid of it to big camera. And again, yeah. it's because of the CD. They want yep. to reduce CD, right? And that yeah. what what matters is if you point it this way, Marcus, right? Which like one? When you're when you're facing the car toward you, mm -hmm. that's the CD there. The, the basically the the frontal area, right? That's correct. Correct. The wind yeah. is uh, pushing against, or the you know, the air resistance. Correct. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what it is. Um, and the second part here is let me put this down real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Right. And then what I want to bring you up is actually the power the power system. That's mm -hmm. going on, right? I have a simple oh, yeah. circuit diagram. A little circuit diagram there. So I just put it right here. Uh -huh. Okay. So essentially, this is um, let me go to a better spot here. This is the this is the solar panel. Mm -hmm. right? It's actually a voltage source. Mm -hmm. What it's doing is it as 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 the sun ray actually hitting the uh, voltage. Yep. It's 
it's charging this capacitor. Mm -hmm. You can think of a capacitor as a battery source, right? Yep. It, 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 it sort of charged. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this particular circuit here where the voltage control to a voltmeter, mm -hmm. I th that's my assumption because right? I don't know exactly what's in there. So you made the circuit diagram here? Uh, I did, right, oh, because okay. I know I know for sure that the capacitor control unit and the power mm -hmm. supply, that's there. But They're these own. two, I think it's an assumption, uh -huh. right? Okay. Yeah, so what you see here is uh, when the when the capacitor have certain voltage, mm -hmm. then the switch turn on. Mm -hmm. So now the control unit is actually powered up. Now you can start mm. kind of driving the car. So this has no battery. No battery just at the all. Capacitor yeah. No battery at all. And charge. There, there is actually a connector for battery. Okay. It's just for testing purposes. But okay. Other than that, I removed it. Oh wow. It. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. And here's the box here. It's got some description and and you can see the uh, the drivetrain there. Pretty simple stuff with uh, just a uh, pinion gear to the motor, mm -hmm. uh, pretty large uh, spur gear there. But right. this is, yeah, this is cool. And it's got, this is a Lexan body, right? Uh, protecting the, the solar panels and everything. Uh, yeah, I guess mm -hmm. maybe you know this better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, I just know just some of the, the terminology circuit. there. Right, the terminology, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, again, this is a solar panel. You mm -hmm. can see it's two and a half volt each. Mm -hmm. So it's actually on series. In ser it's mm -hmm. actually put in series. Okay. It, it creates seven and a half volt. Seven and a half volts, okay. And, yeah. um, oh, wow, there's the bottom side. Yeah, this is the bottom side, you can see and it. And it's got an under tray. This is pretty rare for RCs here actually having uh, an under tray here for improved uh, aerodynamics. And oh, also protecting. got it, got it, got yeah. it, right, right. Actually, there's no chassis here, you know, just I think in the interest of saving weight, um, they there's there's not even a chassis. It's just two pieces of, of Lexan polycarbonate uh, and the motor. Um, you know, again, this is way back. What ninety two? You said ninety two. Ninety two. Right. Um, so yeah, I mean the, the 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 panels on this are not that efficient. Mm -hmm. um, so they're they're really trying to eke out uh, you know as much weight savings and and um, you know as much air basically optimizing this for for efficiency here. So it's really cool to see this. Right. Right. Um, other than that, uh, the capacitor is actually hidden. Mm -hmm. It was under this. You can see there's a little like um, like a trapezoid yeah. like, uh, structure. Uh -huh. And then this is where the CPU is, or CPR, I think that's what they call it. Yeah. Control, right? Uh -huh. And then it just kind of controls it. Wow, yeah. very cool. Yeah. So, um, yeah, very simple, elegant design there. Right. So I guess, you know, we could just take it for a spin. Yeah, let's, right? let's see this thing that? drive. All right. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put on, I'm going to turn it on. Okay. Right I'll just put it on the ground right here, right. and you can see there's a capacitor. Uh, there's a capacitor. Um, oh, uh, charge meter there. Charge meter right there. Right. So we'll actually. Oh, it's actually up at 100% because we've got we've got it sitting in the sun for a little bit here. Correct. Correct. Yeah. And if we go to the shadow, um, it's actually going to discharge. Oh wow. Yeah. And then but it'll I, stop running. And will it will eventually stop running? Yeah. But okay. I kind of tested a little bit. <laughs> I think we have actually a lot of the solar okay. radiation here. But yeah. Let's go for it. Right. So, Wow, this is really cool to see here. It's running purely on the sun. So I, I like Marcus, remember Sun Racer and um, the, uh, all the competitions going on, people trying to do these races just on solar power. Let's see what happens if we put it to the shadow right here. The shade. Yeah. Okay, so it's slowing down. You can hear that motor slowing down. Did you just stop? Oh, you just put it in yeah, reverse. Put it in reverse. You just kind of yeah, you can. You can definitely hear it and yeah, see can, it slowing down. It's just slowing, <laughs> pouring out right here. Yeah, you can see that because I'm putting a full blast. I, I can't even control it anymore right now. This is so cool, though. I go. mean, yeah. Just think about it, like you could you could in essence run this thing indefinitely because it's running off the sun. Like you would never have to charge your battery as long as you were racing this in the sun, right? That's correct, as long as it's in the sun, right? Yeah. That's crazy. We should we should build an updated version with this with the updated electronics and whatnot. And that, I, I think that would be an interesting project, right? Yeah, right? I wanted I've, to do that a couple of years ago to just kind of make our own, right? Uh -huh. But again, uh, you know, stuff of life comes up, right? So yeah. you can't really do it. You didn't have time for it. I mean, I, so I've got an ultra capacitor in the garage that you can use to start a car. <laughs> <laughs> We, uh, I've been, I've been meaning to incorporate that into one of our builds, and this is just giving me new ideas here. So again, the Solar Eagle, this is so cool, and you can see now that the, um, the capacitor charge level meter there, and it's, it's cool that they put it right on the back of this vehicle. Um, it's at forty percent, so I guess that's not enough to. It's, it's deep in the red there, according mm -hmm. to that gauge. So, 
Um, very cool. Very cool. Uh, wow. This is, yeah, this is a real treat here. Thanks, Marcus. No, you're welcome. So yeah, let, let us know what you guys think um, in the comments. Uh, you know, if you guys want to see more vehicles like this, uh, really cool stuff here. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks again for watching.